This is the all-new VW Multivan. The T7 is this one now, the king of MPVs. We will find out for you together here on Autogefühl with Thomas. Let's take a look at the front. The typical round shape here, we know it, so an evolutionary design. But then here the light strip golden all the way across the vehicle. LED is standard, optional, even matrix LED. In general, there's more standard equipment for this vehicle and we hardly ever hear that. This one here will be cheaper than the outgoing model or it will be the same price and include more equipment. Why? This now sits on the MQB platform, the passenger platform of the Volkswagen Corporation. So moving from commercial segment to the passenger segment for the passenger version. The commercial version will remain on a different platform. But here you can see also in the lower part more design elements. We also have this two-tone paint here and sensors hidden behind here because all the modern assistance systems are now also available here for the multivan. The length here is at 4 meters 97 or 196 inches. There will be two versions, a short one and a long version, like before. The shorter one has grown now, whereas the longer one has shrunk a little bit. 18 inch wheels we have right here, this is of course in the high trim level. And the plug-in hybrid, zoom on to that, also has the charging then here at the passenger side. Two-tone paint and when you are in the higher trim level you also have this chrome element which is splitting the two tones so really cool basically again form follows function of course with the upright line however the car itself is a little bit lower but you won't have a problem with headroom on the inside I can promise and also a nice panoramic roof coming up very soon for a van I think really cool in the design so that shows that although you have a boxy design it still can be attractive and it really looks premium from the outside don't you think so as well tail lamps in a modern design now and the whole rear is so yeah I mean really more than a dynamic almost for a van look at that the top wing massive yeah you know for the racetrack and so on definitely needed but this gives more dynamic character and towing capacity 2000 kilograms max or 4400 pounds so what do you think here about design from the exterior put it in the comments but the interior of course will be even more crucial and here we have a different paint for you black on the top red in the bottom just like the uh, vintage car model we have right here the t1 always nice to look at that one so you can see how the design is somewhat carried over through the generations this one by the way is also the longer version this longer version here now at 5 meters 17 or 204 inches so 20 centimeters or 8 inches difference between short and long version and here by the way we also have 19 inch wheels and since both versions have the same wheelbase it's just about the overhang so the short version like this and the long version here you can see the wider over or the longer overhang right here this is the car key we know it from the passenger lineup high gloss black hmm, yeah okay keyless entry here you can see at the moment the side mirror is fold in put my hand right here then it opens and ta-da i use the force <laughs> then here door closing sound really solid it's very nice and interesting also that on the key here it's special then for this one i press it here and then also electronic electronically the side door opens and there's also a second one soon more about that first look here at the rear soon more deals that this will be really crucial the changes here i can promise but first of all here in the front it's a nice build quality here a soft cover off here for your arm show uh, elbow and new inserts here different stylings available good build quality also with the buttons for the windows yeah classic controls also for the side mirrors and here a lot of space this is of course really crucial and look at that here it's like a puddle light with a new shape really interesting hard to see on camera yeah maybe that way <laughs> okay and then here we go look at that new steering wheel also from the passenger lineup and digital instruments 10.25 inch they are also standard just an option with more elaborated visualization seats here from fabric in the two-tone styles i think also really nicely done and they feel robust but at the same time they're also really breathable and at, at both sides you have here some armrests so that's also quite fancy lumbar support electric and also with nice clicking sound so let's get inside of course i always step in but wow, what a nice and comfortable seating position. This is really awesome. It's super comfortable indeed. You have a good view to the front and so on. Interesting, these new windows there, this shape. And this is actually very important that you don't have a kind of blind spot at the A-pillar. And of course, look at that above me here. 
the new panoramic roof. It's split. More to come very soon. There's also a special layer in it that protects against the sun because there's no manual shade or something or electric shade for that. Headroom here at the side, no problem. One is a six or six with one. So that's no issue at all. And the steering wheel up and down, in and out. And the build quality really makes a very good impression so far. Steering wheel also gets technology from the passenger segment. It is a passenger platform now. So the travel assist, so keeping your lane and also keeping the distance at the same time will be available with capacitive steering function. And then one of my favorite features is here, this new dashboard cover here, really great structure. This is high trim level though, but that feels very, very nice. Although it's hard packed, but has this structure. Optional Harman Kardon sound system. This of course, I mean, also um, crucial for this segment. Then we have here the infotainment system in 10 inch. This is also standard, always comes in this size. Soon more deals to that. Problem can be that the software is a little bit slow. This is a prototype vehicle here though, but we know that this software here has been upgraded recently, but still not the fastest one. You have here in the lower end, you have some hotkeys where you can, for example, access the climate menu. Further down below, inductive charging pads for your phone. And then, it's quite interesting here, adaptive cup holders in the front, and again, Everything resonates very well here as for the build quality. I mean, it's hard pack here, but when you open and close things, everything, you know, also sound wise makes a good impression. Further down to the right side here, we have this cover and then even more space underneath. Digital instruments, they have the advantage that you can switch the views and for example, have the map all over the place like this. This is of course really helpful for navigation or like this and so on, so you can take your personal or favorite view and also in this view you can um, change around the things and a nice option will also be the head-up display so we really say this mpv segment here is now really modernized here on the right side next to the entertainment system this is where i can open the side doors from here so that's actually quite fancy then this main infotainment unit yeah the thing that i don't like so much again these capacitive buttons here for the temperature control and also for the sound control that's maybe not good but whoa the harman Kardon sound system really awesome and so much surround atmosphere here because we have a big interior space that's really cool would love to have that one in, in the multi run then here the infotainment software. This again the weakness of this vehicle, but again about all VW Skoda Seat at the moment. The recent software fix made it definitely better, but still it's not that well usable because it's just really really slow. So one thing could be definitely to use the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. This will always do better. And it's also available in the wireless way. Nice visualizations here though, and then we can also check for example some more data. Um, the plug-in hybrid version as we have it here right now will also have an independent, independent heater directly included and not only that one but all the versions will get the DSG dual clutch transmission and that's why it's also in a space saving way right here to put in the gears parking again and that means everything else here is free and also the handbrake electronically here in the lower end and that makes everything so spacious and you know this open room atmosphere and now the crucial area here the rear area and really cool to have two sliding doors and big news then here in this rear compartment because first of all single seats all over the place you always get single seats let's close the door here again it's better for the light for the camera so and they're also quite adjustable here with these um, strips for example you can put this one and put the head restraint up they have an armrest as well here it also be fixed and Wow, this is also so upright and so comfortable. And once again, an open room atmosphere. And the cool thing is really, since every seat is individually and there's a new, completely new rail system, which is super smooth. So sometimes when you are in these MPVs and you move the seats, it's like, da, 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 da. but here, just listen, you almost hear nothing. And you feel also there's no vibration or something. It's super smooth to slide backwards and forwards. Then you can have this, well, this is not my favorite one though, here for cup holes as well. So the seat's completely new then, and the whole rail system, and the same also goes here for, for that one here, for example, like this. Then you can also, it's another special lever right here, open it like this and have some storage underneath the seat. It's also a quite funny solution. And yeah, once again, the fabric here, and the, the dampening or the 
The bolt string is really, really plush, really feels very nicely. Also, completely new table. Here we go. So we can push it right here, then it goes up, and then like this. Yeah, so no, not working, but on my side here. There we go with the table. And the whole table here can be also slid forward and backward like this. And once again, the new rail system is really very cool. Standard would be the five-seater setup, but you can get even more seats, up to seven seats then. And I mean, when you look at that in the rear, I can fold a seat for you. Oh. So, sorry Thomas, sorry Thomas B. So Thomas M and Thomas B, double Thomas team here today. And yeah, this is then the third seating row, but it's not actually a row, now also individual seats. And that makes it very flexible because I soon show you, you can take out the whole seat. It's also possible and every individual one. So for example, you can like have like in this row, the seats and maybe here take them all out and then put a bicycle in here, maybe even remove without removing the tire or something, especially if you have the longer version. This one here, the shorter version of the, of the two ones. But that makes this vehicle here so flexible. And now let's see if we can take this one out here in a quick way. Interesting here, we have heated seats at the outsides each, although we can take them out completely. And this is actually very rare. So fold like this and then the back part there's a red strip and when I pull this one I can just pull it out like this so and that's it actually and they are like 25% lighter now um yeah like a little bit over 20 kilograms it's of course not super light but lighter than before and I mean this is such an easy system and that way you can take out all the different seats and put them in again that's it and they're in the rail so can't be easier than that and this is to me the biggest advantage of this vehicle. Third seating row also great in comfort here really nice they are basically all the same seats as for the bolt swing and so on but then just little differences for example the ones with the integrated seat belts right here they can be moved more freely and they are actually a little bit slimmer an inch slimmer here in the width but still the comfort is more or less the same um, yeah, you feel it maybe when you're like, I mean, I'm not a small person, so uh, I think then the one that is, yeah, that, that inch, you do feel that actually. So the ones that are slimmer, a little bit less in comfort for, for me, but it's not too much. And interesting that here also in the second seating row, it also depends on if you have the seat belts right here or if you have the ones with the integrated seat belts then, so like this one, then you can also put them around. We'll soon also take a look at another trim level car where we can exactly do that. And how much legroom you have really depends on how you slide the seats in the front. In the shorter version here, when I'm sitting on this one here and put it the way in the front that I could still sit, it's really tough then to sit here behind. So that's a little bit too close. So if you want to fit five tall adults here in the back part, then you should rather go for the longer version. Here in the shorter version, it works then, for example, with the kids and so on. And you also have the isofix here, so you can also install a lot of child seats. And some 12 volt or USB chargers are also here in the rear. And we also have some more cubby space, also hidden ones, for example, here at the back part of the seat. You can use this one. And the best thing here in the third seating row, of course, look at that view. I mean, yeah, you can think about camping trips here, even in the normal passenger version. Or, you know, there's of course also the California version, but that one will still be based on the commercial platform. Opening the tailgate with the key or right here. And when you have the electric tailgate, now new function with the foot kick opening mechanism. There we go. So, of course, also a good feature, but just be <laughs> careful with that. 470 liters, the minimum figure, 1850 the maximum, depending on the seating row. You can see here the length right there when the third row is installed, 14 inches or 35 centimeters. A backpack easily fits in there and you can also remove this top cover when you just push this one forward. So this is actually really easy. This one goes even further now because the middle part has space and once again you can of course also take the whole thing out so when you fold this one like this here we go live demonstration and then in that way but of course it's easier to take it out from the 
from the side right there. Um, theoretically also from here, but then you have to you know pay attention right there. But that's so cool. You're really flexible because you can just take the middle one out again or one of the sides. And just imagine right here, Neil, when we put this one and the other one out, then you can really load things through. So this is an easier solution, taking out the second seat and we go first and then putting the third one forward like this. And then this was also out. And now we have the setup we've been talking about here in the shorter version. And let's see how long is that really now. So this folding ruler here goes 200 centimeters, so two meters or almost 80 inches. And this is exactly is more, you know, more than 80 inches and more than two meters right here than when you load the things through. Intelligent feature, or shall I say a simply clever feature, <laughs> borrowed from Skoda here, the torch, which is an installed or can be taken out here in the back. And you can also put the seats in, once again, in the reverse way, that's also possible. And depending on the trim, there's a second trim here now, here you can also have these sliding windows there for the side doors. And to show you a different trim here on the inside, here you can also get this wooden style trim. And this being here the T7 long version here on the inside, this is the two meters or 80 inches we had before. And now additional, look at that. So additional 50 inches or additional 40 centimeters, you have this length and more on the inside. This is of course, you know, when you have like, like a surfboard or something, definitely fits better on the inside then. And when you have the longer version, then it's also no problem when all the way <laughs> full of tall adults. So I can easily sit in the third seating row right here then, even though when the second seat is set to this position right here, so then you have even more leg room left. So definitely a cozier traveling experience. But then again, you have to think about when you are inside the city, the shorter version on the exterior also has a lot of advantages for parking and so on. And here, the longer version in the trunk. So even if you have them all the way to the back here, the third seating row, just more space than here for luggage engines or front wheel drive. So far, this one here is the new 1.4 liter plug-in hybrid. We know it from other Volkswagen passenger cars, 218 horsepower system output and pure electric range around 40 kilometers or 25 miles, at least 13 kilowatt hour battery. And there will also be an all-wheel drive version at the later stage, then with an additional electric motor in the rear. Then you will also have a 1.5 liter turbo petrol engine, a pure petrol engine, 136 horsepower, or a two liter TSI turbo petrol engine with 204 horsepower. And last but not least, still the two liter TDI, the diesel with 150 horsepower. Once again, interesting that they use the MQB platform right now. So you have to split it basically in three different segments. The passenger van here will sit on the passenger platform. Then the commercial van will still remain on the commercial platform. VW is developing a new one together with Ford. And the third one, the all electric one, will be the ID Buzz coming in 2022. That one will also have a separate electric platform. So really interesting van highlights to come. And we will also cover that for you. So really think this one here sets new standard in the passenger MPV segment. Also tune into our Mercedes V-Class review so you can really compare these two cars which are still fierce competitors.